Man on the Moon. by the moon since time immemorial. Early peoples discovered its influence on the growing of crops, on the tides, and used the cycles of the moon as a way of measuring time. Some ancient cultures thought the moon had magic powers or worshipped it as a goddess. The idea of travelling to the moon and settling on it is as old as mankind himself. Our ancestors dreamt of visiting it. but the only way they could get there was in their own imagination. But in the second half of the 20th century, that dream became a reality. In 1957, the Soviet Union sent the first satellite into outer space, Sputnik 1. In the same year, they sent up the first cosmonaut, a little dog called Laika. Four years later, the first man to travel into space and come back to tell the tale was Yuri Gagarin. Over the next eight years, there was intense rivalry between the Soviet Union and the USA to see who could get to the moon first. Until, in 1969, the American astronauts, Armstrong, Aldrin and Collins, took off on board Apollo 11. And after a five-day journey, travelling at 6,000 kilometres an hour, at last they arrived on the moon. <laughs> Neil Armstrong was the first man to step onto the surface of the moon. As he did so, he uttered the phrase, a small step for man, a giant leap for mankind. The spot was called Mare Tranquillitatis, a sea of dust and rock over whose horizon our beautiful blue planet, the Earth, rises every morning. 